duck, run, walk, crawl. These are motion verbs, verbs that describe a physical movement. And yes, duck is a motion verb. I'll explain later. But in English, there are a ton of motion verbs. And sometimes they have very similar meanings with just a slight difference. So I think you need to review the meanings of these motion verbs, and I need to do my daily workout. So let's kill two birds with one stone. Not literally. It's just an expression that means accomplish two tasks at the same time. So I'm going to pick a random motion verb out of this hat, and then I will demonstrate. OK, so can you hold this camera person? Thank you. First is run. So that's running. Everyone's favorite way to exercise, right? No, probably not. But run is a general verb. We can say run to mean running kind of slow or running pretty fast. It's general. What's next? OK, next is jog. So jogging is specifically running at a slow, leisurely pace. Usually we jog for exercise. So come with me. When you jog, Usually, you're going slow enough that you can have a conversation with your jogging partner. So that's jogging. What's next? Sprint. Do I have to do this one? OK, I don't really want to, but. OK, sprinting is when you run as fast as you possibly can. So if you're running away from something, you're probably sprinting. OK, what's next? Perfect. Walk with me, because this is walk. This is an exercise I enjoy way more than running, walking. It's also just how a person gets from point A to point B, walking. Isn't this nice? What's next? Stroll. OK, now let's slow it down. Now we're strolling, just going for a nice leisurely stroll. This is also the reason why those little carts that babies get pushed around in, they're called strollers, because when you're strolling, you're walking at a nice leisurely pace with your baby. I suppose you could push your baby really quick, but that's not recommended. So. Stroll, walking at a leisurely pace. So far, my favorite on this list is probably walking or jogging. How about you? What's your favorite way to exercise and move your body? Tell me in the comments. All right, what's next? All right, speaking of babies, when babies aren't being pushed around in strollers, they are crawling. Crawl! I guess I'll demonstrate crawling too, OK? I mean, this is it. So this is how babies get around. Sometimes adults, if you drop your contact lens and you're crawling on the ground looking for it, or I guess if you've had too much to drink, you might be crawling. Next motion verb is trot. How do I trot? Um, a trot is like a fancy walk, but I'm not going to do it because usually like horses trot, you would say that a horse is trotting. Also, my cat Felis, he likes to trot because he has a very fancy walker. So trotting, trotting. OK, next we have jump. I'll demonstrate jumping, OK? I'm going to jump over this huge rock. Ready? Hey, what's that over there? What? OK, easy. Did you get that? I hope you got that. Next is to roam. When you're roaming, you're sort of walking, but without a direction, without a destination. So I am just out here roaming. Also, cattle, they like to roam because cattle don't really have a direction. They're just roaming in an open field, just like me. And the final motion verb is duck. See, I told you it was in here. To duck means to avoid an object that's flying at you. Think like a baseball or a football or a fris. 
or a shoe from the camera person. Thank you very much for helping me demonstrate. Duck, you get down to avoid something. Alrighty, well, that is it for our motion verb review. I hope you've had a good little class. I know I've had a great workout. So there are a ton of other motion verbs. If you want a part two, just let me know. I'm always down to get a good workout in. And if you enjoyed this tip, be sure to like the video and subscribe so you don't miss any of our awesome English videos. Peace out.